Today we will talk about stress management. Last week I talked about soil and nutrition because for the farmer it is important to get more yield and that is of good quality and five factors I explained soil, nutrients, stress, pest and farm management. Two things I talked about in my earlier presentation. Today I will talk about stress. So first let us understand what is plant stress. It is the response of the plant when it is grown in non-favorable conditions or face non-favorable conditions. It can be biotic and it can be abiotic. First let us talk about biotic stress. It is caused by living things like insects, diseases caused by fungus, bacteria and virus, then weeds, nematodes and lack of microbial activities or microbes in the soil and maybe some more which are living and cause stress to the plant. Now see the abiotic stress. It is caused by non-living things. Mainly it is caused by weather means extreme temperature either it is very high or very low either it is drought or excess of waters means floods then wind speed and direction another abiotic stress is related to the soil means the structure and texture pH, EC or any chemical conditions of the soil then nutrients either it is deficient or excess, then quality of soil water, organic matter. So all these things are also non-living and can cause the stress if it is not favorable to the plant. And then effect of chemicals, we are using lot of chemicals on the crops and some of them are harmful to the plants. So if we talk about stress, it is biotic and abiotic. Generally we have seen the farmers mainly focus on biotic stress by controlling the insect pest and weeds but he think that it don't have any control on weather and he don't bother about the soil health so abiotic stress causes major loss to the crop yields so let us understand what are the favorable conditions to the plant if we talk about favorable conditions from the soil it is soil structure, texture, pH, EC, organic matter, then balanced nutrient. Whatever the plant needs that should be available in the soil. Then beneficial microbes. So all these things uh, the plant uh, take from the soil. So all these things should be favorable. Then talk about water or irrigation. Whenever plant need water, there should be rain or some other source of irrigation. So it will become favorable. So whenever plant need water, it, is, it should be available. Then it is temperature. All the time, the favorable temperature has to be there. Similarly, the air and the wind, it should be favorable. There should be no pest. So all these things, if you look, if the plant get all favorable conditions, it can give the wonderful yield. Do the plants get favorable conditions always? Many a times, no, it is not. So it means the plant passes through stress from sowing till harvest many a times. Any unfavorable condition or substance that affects or blocks a plant metabolism growth or development you know, any substance any conditions which hamper the growth and plant metabolism that is called plant stress common response is ros production and that is caused by this high temperature low temperature drought ultraviolet radiation nutrient deficiency disease insect weeds chemical poor application. So this is the common response as a ROS production. ROS means reactive oxygen species. ROS are chemically reactive molecules containing oxygen. 
Under stress condition, RO levels can increase dramatically, which result in significant damage of the structure. So, if ROS is more, that will be dangerous to the plant. So, that has to be controlled. Now, impact of stress, if you see, when the stress level goes high, the plant energy consumption goes high. So, that, like this, we can understand. Then, stress is increasing consumption of plant energies consumption will become high as a result of this the plant growth flowering yield that will start coming down so stress goes up yields and quality of the crop comes down impact of the stress we can understand from this slides also that abiotic stress cause 65 percent of the loss only 11% loss by biotic stress, whereas we get the only 24% of the potential yield of any crop. And if you talk about this bigger size loss by a bio, abiotic stress, what is this ultraviolet rates? Then extreme temperatures, drought, floods, nutritional deficiency, salinity of the soil and water, then heavy metals in the soil and water, and intensive farming. So all these things cause the losses to the crop due to the stress and major portions is covered by this abiotic stress, 65%. That's a big loss of the yield. Then the effect of stress can lead to deficiencies in growth, crop yields, permanent damage or death if the stress exceeds the plant tolerance limits. You can see here in different different crops, corn, wheat, soya, millet, oats, barley, you can see ki this is the yield we are getting. This is the loss caused by biotic stress. But the major loss, this major loss is being caused by the abiotic factors. Similarly, you can see the cells damaged by excessive production of ROS. This, is, this can be seen in dissection of a leaf which was under stress. So you can see the lot of red species are there. It means ROS production is more in this leaf. So cells damaged by excessive production of ROS cell lose their structure and cannot support functions of whole leaf, leading to disruption of all plant physiology. If this disruption occurs during critical stages of the plant growth and development like flowering or fruiting, it may lead to flower or fruit drop resulting in severe yield reduction. So far we have understood the plant stress. Now we have to understand how to overcome the plant stress to get the better yield and quality. So stress management is being done by expert. Expert, what is this product? Let us understand this. Expert comes from Cytozyme USA. Expert is a biological derived nutritional product. Expert designed to increase resistance to plant against stress to improve yield and quality of field crops, fruits crops and vegetables. What the expert does? Expert optimize the expression of plant natural genetic potential. Expert increases photosynthesis because of more glycine betaine compound which determine the quantity and quality of the crop. Expert protect poor production of ROS in plant and ensure proper function of cell during the stress conditions. Then expert is providing additional 12 nutritional that's why we called it CNS crop nutritional supplement. Expert is organic in nature. Expert is blending of organic matters with 12 essential plant nutrients, which is a unique technology of cytosine. Hence, we call expert as a CNS because it provides many nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, boron, and other micronutrients like cobalt, copper, iron, manganese, molybdenum, and zinc. Expert can be applied in nursery as well as in the main field. It can be applied 7 to 10 days before uprooting the nursery, before transplanting we can use it, before 7 to 10 days. 
In the main field, it can be applied two to three times depending upon crop. First application should be 25 to 30 days after sowing or transplanting. Second application, one week before uh, the panicle initiation or before the fruit setting. Third application after two weeks of second application. Dose can be used 2 ml per liter of water or 250 ml per acre. This is the expert certification. You can see in this uh, the contents of the expert has been given. And good thing is that it has been certified by the notary of USA. That means uh, that assurance of the quality. The Cytozyme USA, you can see the head office which is in Salt uh, Lake City of Utah, USA. It is the manufacturing unit where it is being manufactured. And good thing about the quality assurance. The quality assurance of expert can be understood by this uh, demography that there are 23 production stages and out of them there are 11 quality check points which is a good thing. Now let us see the process. The receiving of the raw material, then batching, sterilizing, weighting, seaweed, extract, then fermentation. And you can see at different different stages there is a quality check also. Then metabolites, natural legends, then uh, nutritional shift, mixing, fermentation, mm, metabolites too, then uh, transfer minerals and uh, like this mixing. Mm. So this is the whole process uh, it is being taken and you can see there are different different stages the quality check is there. So this is a wonderful system to make the expert a very good quality food. So this is being done by USA Cytozyme. It is being produced in USA only. It is brought uh, in the bulk and packed in India. Then uh, how it is uh, best? Because it contains uh, highest percentage of glycine betaine, which is a compound which is good for photosynthesis uh, in the plants. You can see the different different product of different companies having what level of glycine betaine and you can see the expert is the highest among all and it is around 21,000 milligram per liter of product. So expert contains highest uh, quantity of glycine betaine. Then we can draw a conclusion that how expert is good at cellular level, expert protect plants from ore production of ROS. Expert ensure proper functioning of cells during stress conditions. This is at the cell level and the whole plant level. Expert reduces impact of stress on plant production. Expert provides 12 nutrition. That's why we call it CNS. Expert increases the yield and growth crop quality so both things are getting which a farmer needs that means uh, more yield and that is of good quality and that we use by experts so i am saying thanks to expert for giving this farmers need achievement thanks a lot